Uh, hi everyone, uh, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, why we're doing this and why we got the kind of idea. Um, so talking a bit less actually about not us as educationers um, educating the public as they come in, it's actually a little bit of a look about how I want to kind of educate more of our staff that are not on the education team to kind of uh, do this a little bit for us as well. Uh, so first up, I was going to talk a little bit about our Zoom licensing inspection. Uh, so we were actually a little bit worried about this last year as education department was going through quite a bit few changes uh, with some layoffs and things like that that we discovered after COVID. Um, and after catching up with regional meetings, we were a bit worried that we weren't doing quite as much as some of the other collections. So we were actually a little bit worried, uh, especially with the rumours of uh, standards becoming more policy. Uh, but what we actually got was they were actually very fuzzy images, uh, but they were actually really impressed with some of the things we were doing. We noted everything we had in a scrapbook to kind of see exactly what we had when they came in, they could see it. Um, and they were really impressed with how education were already quite integrated into every department. So with our animal experiences, uh, back in the day, education used to just uh, book these in and they were kind of meet and greet. Uh, for all the visitors coming in. Now we're uh, a lot more active and we actually take the visitors around and we've got a really great relationship with the keepers where we can go into these areas and we are trained to go in and they know exactly what we're doing when we're coming around. Uh, so we are actually really involved with the visitors coming around and, these, and we're in the keeper's space which they're quite happy for us to be in as well. Uh, events and things like that as well. Pretty much anything that's going on in the zoo, education are always kind of a part of, they're always kind of coming to us to see what we can contribute. Um, so we are quite involved in experiences, events, and all these different areas. Uh, as well as social media, well, again, that great relationship with the keepers means we can get into these areas and we can get a lot more content for TikToks and things like that, um, social media. You can check out our TikTok if you want to see that. Um, so it brought us to, uh, although we got really positive feedback, it brought us to the idea of what can we do uh, better. They were really impressed at how we were kind of considering them all departments already, but we thought what we could do a little bit better. So we thought about our staff education programme. So we thought about doing fun activities to get more of our departments involved, our catering team, our amusement team, retail from the gift shops and ticket office as well, of how we could get them inspired and educating our visitors as well, instead of just coming up and kind of doing their normal job. So we thought by teaching these guys some fun animal facts, they would uh, be more inspired to engage with our visitors uh, as they're doing their kind of normal everyday job, uh, either serving in the gift shop or serving something in the restaurant, and it gets them a little bit more engaged with our visitors. They would hopefully learn useful visitor information. Uh, a lot of people kind of come, they show up to the departments and they don't really explore the zoo or explore the animals and things like that. So we thought getting them around to these enclosures would give them some useful, useful information for when the public asks where these areas are as well. As well as creating connections between different departments as well. Again, a lot of people kind of show up and stay within their department. They eat lunch in their departments or by themselves and things like that. So just to kind of create more connections between staff, we thought it would be a good idea. Uh, so we came up with Safari Scouts. It's our education programme there. We thought Safari Scouts as they would come and do quite a few different activities, learn a little bit about the animals uh, and earn kind of their badges as well. So we did two sessions. This was our first little practice one that we did. Uh, we did two sessions a day in the hopes that people that were working as they were doing this, they would come along uh, during their work day or during lunch and things like that uh, and come and learn a little bit about our penguins. Uh, we did a morning session and an afternoon session so if people were busy in the morning they could come along to these different sessions. Uh, we listened to a little bit of a penguin presentation, a little bit about our penguins. Uh, they took part in a quiz after that uh, where they actually had to answer a few questions that were already going into the penguin uh, presentation, as well as a few that they maybe didn't hear before. Uh, and the ones with the best, kind of the, the, the ones that got the most answers correct, but everyone earned a penguin badge, I've got a few of them up here. Uh, but they also, there it is. Uh, so they got their penguin badge. The ones with the most correct answers then got to come in, and as a little incentive to coming along, they got to come in and feed our penguins. 
Uh, a little idea on future badges, I'll kind of whiz through these. Uh, so our animal badges, asking about penguins, meerkats, tigers, uh, hopefully visitors would come along, see them all displayed on their uniforms and hopefully be uh, encouraged to ask about them and they would be encouraged to ask back. Uh, general knowledge badges, again getting people around the park and exploring a little bit more. Uh, we thought a little bit about hobbies and things like that as well and getting people into the restaurant. We thought it would be a good idea for people to express different activities and hobbies as well as getting into the restaurant and being able to not just make kind of little bits, little connections with the visitors, um, little tiny things that we think are quite small but could actually make the visitors day a lot better. Um, making recommendations for the restaurant and things like that as well, or cooking badge. British nature badge, we've got a lovely little area surrounded with lots of red squirrels, so we thought as well as getting them to explore the zoo, uh, getting them exploring the surrounding areas as well. Uh, and we thought the more badges they earn, maybe give them some more incentives. Earning five badges gets them a free hot drink or tea or coffee. Uh, earning 10 badges maybe gets them a free meal in the restaurant and just little incentives to get people to come along, not just animal experiences and things like that. Uh, so I wasn't going to bore you guys too much with graphs and charts, so I just thought I'd kind of create a little video uh, and hopefully play that uh, just now so that you can see the people that actually took part and see what they thought. I don't think there's any sound. No sound? It's not coming up, sorry. <laughs> well, there is some captions, but not quite. <laughs> Almost a full house. Everyone gave it 10. Partnership. <laughs> 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 I like to actually learn about the animals. Um, obviously, that's the whole point of it, but getting to know. About the animals and the artists and stuff. Getting to meet the penguins, definitely. Yeah, must be the penguins. I think it was having uh, so many people from different departments being involved, so we kind of had all different uh, walks of life helping us try and do, uh, or we'll get the same goal. Nothing. It was great, it was a good knowledge of what we needed, so it was all right, it was all right. Nothing. It was fun. You made it fun, it was informative, and definitely everything.